Number five, Mr. Smith is a member of a tennis club. During the year, if he plays 23 games, he pays a total of $447. If he plays 35 games, he pays $615. If this situation follows a linear model, how much will he pay the year where he plays 46 games? All right, so we have to divide all of this data up into X and Y values, right? And remember, X is your independent values and Y is dependent. So the amount that he pays depends on the number of games he plays, right? So X is the, um, the number of games. So X is games and Y is cash. So we start off with he plays 23 games and he pays $447. And then he plays 35 games and he pays $615. So, um, and we're told this is a linear situation, so y equals ax plus b. Now we have to find our a. a is delta y over delta x, all right, which is going to be 615 minus 447, that's delta y. Delta x is going to be 35 take away 23, which gives us 168 divided by 12, which is 14. So our new function is y equals 14x plus b. Now we just have to solve for the b. So we're going to take any two points like 23, 4, 47, or 35, 615, since we only have two points, and put in the x and, y and corresponding y value. So I'm going to use x is 23, and therefore y equals 447. Okay, you can't use 23 and 615, because when x is 23, y is 447, but when x is 35, y is 615. So have to, you have to make sure they're corresponding values. All right, so the 14 multiplies the 23, giving us 332. And then to get the B alone, we're going to subtract 332 from both sides. And that gives us 125 as B. So our equation is Y equals 14X plus 125. Ta-da! Then um, we want to know, we want to use that equation to figure out how much he's going to pay if he plays 46 games. So Y equals 14 times 46 plus 125. The 14 times the 46. Um, gives us a number plus 125 is 769 so he's gonna pay $769 so Miss, Mr. Smith will pay $769 for the 46 games and that's question 5 have a good day